Hi, this is Sakamon. Today I'm doing a recommendation for a specific blue unit that I would recommend for the current meta, especially for newer players who might be struggling in getting like higher tier units that could effectively counter against the Berserkers. So the two units I think that are currently in the meta that players will encounter a lot would be the Berserkers and the Cataract Lancers. Now, I, I've seen actually a lot of comments about how the Berserkers are overpowered, how new players might be you know, having trouble getting um, units that could counter the Berserkers effectively. And then they encounter so many of these units sometimes in siege matches. I suppose some people might just uh, tell them to get, you know, like the gray hairs to uh, counter berserkers but I actually see a problem there for new players is in that to in order to get the uh, gray hairs they actually have to complete like a whole list of challenges that would be really tedious and takes a long time and realistically it's just not very practical they might need something that could be able to counter berserkers right in the moment instead so this is why today I'm bringing up a video that um, I think could help players out there who might be having trouble in this area. So the uh, unit I wish to recommend today is the Helbergers. I I think you guys would be curious, uh, why Helbergers? Like, okay, listen first, all right. Rather than explain further, I think I would just uh, present a unit test I did earlier with uh, a helpful friend. Fall in. Now, when I did that testing, my friend was actually really surprised with how his cataract lenses was destroyed so easily. So I'm gonna explain uh, into why that happened and why Halberders are actually so good against Kev, even T5 Golden Arrow Kevs. Okay, so at some point, Golden Arrow Kevs were really powerful and then the developers decided to uh, give a new trait to or poem units called Swamp, which is to help the units against Kev. So what Swarm does, if you actually hover over it and unit traits, is that it gives an increased damage against cavalry and it actually also reduces the calf's uh, movement speed for a short duration. This particular mechanic, when you actually stack it with a uh, max level halberdier on the bottom line tree, you, you see that actually the end bottom veterancy node gives a 20% increase to cavalry. So this and this stacking together makes this unit give a 36% increase damage to calf. That is why they are doing so much damage to calf. So does this mean that uh, the halberdists are going to be able to kill every single calf unit in the game? Um, the answer is probably no. The, the one thing to understand about Conqueror's Blade is that not only do you have to have the right unit to counter the units that you expect to meet most on the battlefield, it's also about how you manage and use and control those units on the battlefield. So I'm gonna just explain a little more about how to use the unit more effectively. One thing is, don't expect them to be able to hold against a Hussar Cavalry Charge against them because I think they would probably lose out and be obliterated even though I have not run the test. But Hussars aside, most Cavalry charging through this formation for Halberdus would probably um, lose. So one thing about the Halberdiers is they have a really, really solid and good stationary formation. You want to put them on uh, Brace, which they actually automatically do, Fall go into up. once they reach the location. I can uh, give an example here. See, I did not actually press the uh, Brace button. 
but they actually automatically brace the moment they, they stop at uh, one position the other thing I want you guys to notice about is that when they are in their brace and stationary formation the unit is actually capable of turning even if the enemy is coming at them from a different direction to illustrate this battle I'm going to try to uh, Get into put them facing maybe no the opposite surrender. way from where the enemy would typically advance from and then you guys could see for yourself now you see they would actually turn to face the enemy from whatever direction they come from and this is actually uh, one advantage they have that for the Bratio Pikes do not in the, is that they would actually change direction and attack wherever the enemy comes so this is actually really helpful even when uh, you have an enemy player that charges on his mount and tries to jump right in the middle of them they would actually all also switch uh, direction and uh, stab him now let's talk about the eye effectiveness against uh, the other unit which you would run commonly in this current era of meta the berserkers Well, as you can see in that earlier video, in a straight out brawl, if uh, both players were not to do anything additional, the Berserkers would win in, in an all out fight against the Halberdiers leaving about maybe half of them did I gotta say that there were a lot of things I didn't try though like I didn't try to charge the Halberdiers into uh, the Berserkers when they were raging but uh, I would share this one thing though there was this one time I was in uh, a match and I was uh, having my Halberdiers brace just as they are now and then there were a bunch of Berserkers that came at me I think the players, the, the, the uh, controller the controlling player wasn't really there so they just kind of like were left to their AI as they came to engage me so I stood somewhere where I'm standing right now right in front of my halberdiers then as their AI goes they'll go for the nearest target right I was swinging at them they were like swinging at me at the same time having my halberdiers uh, stab them and I was able actually to just uh, kill them that way pretty fast and easily without uh, much loss or any loss among my helpers to share about. I hope this video helps someone out there. And uh, I just wish you good luck for the battles ahead.